All right, guys, let's see what this sounds like. Um, this is GMK Voyage with the CJ switches from Gateron. We loop them with GS2 and film them with Deskies. We're using the Stabies. We just used 2050 and did no tuning. I don't think I really need to do any tuning on them. They're pretty nice. Um, and then, yeah, this is with no PE foam. I used the, the silicone piece inside with an aluminum plate. And then we put the gaskets on. So let's see what this sounds like, shall we? Let me open the notepad. Huh. Hi everyone. Um, hold on, let me show you guys some stuff here first. I'll be, I'll probably have to get up, but yeah, we got some stabies. We're gonna be using these. Interesting, we have like a manufactured date or MFG, I don't know what that means. But yeah, we got these. We're gonna be using these with the Vertex. I didn't quite get everything ready. Yeah, we got CJ switches as well. So we have a pretty nice palette today. Ah, this is so heavy. Okay, here's the angle. All right, chat. This doesn't really fit too well in the frame. Here's the angle. The box is kind of neat. All right, here's the angle. Very Key Cult-esque box. Kind of like with their angled box over here. Not quite Key Cult though. Still pulls out the same as a Key Cult box though. Jesus Christ. Alex gives it raw, no, product, no protection. Jesus Christ, dude. Okay. So I did open this once with you guys already. So you guys will probably notice some stuff has been opened. Oh God, my camera does not like this box. We have the angle logo over here. We have the vertex like stuff up top thing. We have play the angles, know the angles. On the actual outside of the box, hi Manoli. There's some other stuff over here. This I actually have not seen. This I didn't even read. Uh, vertex works towards a customized keyboard with the ultimate typing experience. You guys can read it. But yeah, just some like, so the Angle series aims to provide a delicate, gentle typing experience, interesting, using a leaf spring system. So we got some cool stuff. We're gonna be taking a look at this. What's the angle here? Brumts. I got you, dude. <laughs> Let's open this up. Okay. I guess let's just put the box over here for now. All right, now this is out of order. This is supposed to be on top. Again, I've already opened this. So we're gonna go what was supposed to be in order. I mean, it doesn't fucking matter. We have the PCB here. Let's take a look at this PCB. Oh, okay, this is kind of neat looking with the green traces. Yeah, pretty neat looking PCB. There's a daughter board somewhere in the box. Just need to find it. So you have the PCB. We'll put that to the side over here. Move this off the side too. And then we also have some extra stuff here being everyone's favorite thing. Posture? Okay, okay I got you guys. Everyone's favorite foam. I know you guys like when we talk about foam. Everyone's preference for foam. You guys know I typically like using it. So you will be getting a, actually this is not even a foam. This is like a silicone. So this is actually a silicone sheet. So this, this is kind of weighty as well. So this is not pour on, this feels like a silicone. I'm assuming it's a silicone. This is the mid. We do have, this is probably to protect shortages from the PCB against the bottom. So this is probably gonna go on the bottom. And we do have PE foam, which we're not gonna be using today. The reason I am not gonna be using the PE foam today, listen, you guys already know how the PE foam sounds in most keyboards. In fact, I'll pull out like four other keyboards that have PE foam. Um, if you guys are down for it, I'd rather not use it today, but if you guys want to, we can. Um, so it's up to you, it's really up to you guys. I'm gonna probably opt out of it today. And then we have our plates, which comes in this nice little package here. No foam that's here with the board has, no PE foam, okay. We'll still use that mid silicone because I am curious about that. But I'll opt out of the PE foam today. Again, you guys pretty much know how that sounds. Now the plate itself feels like aluminum. So there's the plates. 
move this off to the side as well. So there's the plates. So you guys can see we have some leaf springs on the side there. Interesting, interesting. So we also have some stuff over here. This is called the number Alex Otos. It tells you dimensions, net weight. So this is what, 2.8 to 3.1 kilos. Stickers, stuff like that inside the box. Interesting. And then we have our tools, which I think we did open already. Vertex Hype, how you doing, dude? Uh, oh, this one from Click Clack, not from AKS. Um, this one here should be from Click Clack, yeah. So we have gaskets, we have feet, which we'll put on now. We have screws for the daughter. I like how everything's labeled. That's kind of nice. More screws for the daughter board. We have shims, which we're not going to be probably using. We have case screws, which are probably extras. Hi, Dina. How you doing? We have some hexagon wrenches. No daughter board. I think the daughter board's already installed. So let's put some of these guys away. All right, let's check out the actual keyboard now. So let's actually move this stuff out of the way. All right, time for the keyboard. Time for the reason you guys are here. Okay, like I said, we've already opened this. We know, but we'll take another little opening here. Pretty, pretty nice looking board though, dude. It's a pretty nice looking board. Let's swap cameras here. All right, chat. How you guys doing? Hopefully your stream went well. Ooh. Dude, when I tell you guys this keyboard looks stealthy in this color, it looks stealthy, dude. Like that looks, that looks hot, bro. This looks good. What do you guys think? What do we think? What do we think, chat? Do we like it? Your logo looks so good on the inner way. I appreciate that. I didn't even know they're gonna do that. Like I didn't send them files or anything. So kind of interesting how that came to be. And we'll flip it over and show you guys this side. Angle. Such a stealthy board. I know, I agree. I really like the weight placement. It makes so much sense to put it where the board tapers down to less material. You know what, wave depth, you're not wrong there. Does the weight feel more evenly dispersed because of it? You know, that's a really interesting observation wave. I wouldn't have even put like two and two together. It does feel like pretty balanced when it comes to like, like for example, the keyboard's not going anywhere, just resting on, here, we'll do one finger. It's actually, if I were to get it right in the center, it's still pretty balanced. Like it's not, it's not terribly heavy on both sides. That's actually pretty nice. I didn't even realize that. Feels still a little bit front heavy, I'd say, because of the weight, but pretty nice. I like this. The other cool thing about this keyboard here is that little stone they have there or that moon, what is it called? The moonstone or whatever? Depending on the angle, it kind of goes away and disappears. What's the lightest springs you would use daily? 52 is the lightest I'd ever go. I tried 45 and I feel like that was maybe a bit too light, uh, but I can still type on them fine. But 52 is my comfort level for daily stream or for daily use. 
52 to 55. But I think I'm starting to get used to 55 more than 50. <laughs> What stabs are these? These are called stabbies, stabies. Um, S-T-A-E-B-I-E-S. We're using them today. This is my first look at them as well, but they have better tolerances than the ones we've been using. Um, it's a thinner PCB, so the stabilizers aren't, this is a problem you would have probably with all sta stabilizers. They're not like grabbing so nicely. Nice. So we use stab shims to kind of compensate for the thinner PCB. I think Duroc are the only ones I ever had that worked with, with that.
Hi, Mr. Alex. Would you happen to know if Milmax sockets would work on this as I saw the hot swap wasn't available? Yeah, they would definitely work on this. I don't see a reason why they wouldn't. I definitely don't see a reason why they just wouldn't work. But yes, I think you're totally safe to use Milmax sockets with this. So in terms of anno quality, I'm not noticing any sort of blemish. Um, even when I had it on before, there wasn't any mismatch, but this is the black colors. It's harder to tell sometimes. Uh, nothing bad on the inside here at all. Yeah, I'm not seeing any sort of marks. I don't see where the anno hooks are. So that's kind of nice too. But no, pretty nice. This can be unscrewed. So I don't know if they're gonna offer any sort of other badges. Pretty nice though. Nothing on the inside, no blemishes, no weird marks. Uh, one interesting note, I guess. Oh, I don't want to put this on the screws. Okay, I'll see if I can get a good angle of this. Do you guys see how these over here are angled? Look at this little scoop on where the leaf springs will mount. Look at that. Do you guys see that? It's a good angle. Yeah, you get a good angle of the angle. So these are scooped of where the leaf springs mount. So interesting, very interesting.
All right, chat, we are done putting this together. So we can give this a little go. So again, I did not use the PE foam. So we'll see what this keyboard sounds like. Vacuum me, daddy, damn. All right, let's see what this sounds like, chat. So this looks pretty good. What do we think, guys? Do we like this? Yes or no? This looks pretty neat. Let's see the bottom again. I'll wipe some of my fingerprints away. Sorry, guys. So again, anno quality is pretty good. The build was interesting. I wouldn't say it was like anything challenging or anything. Um, internals are very pretty. I think even the out the exterior is very pretty. Interesting mounting with those curved places where the flex points like you can really see the flex with this board, dude. You you can like look at that. That's not me pressing onto. That's the actual keyboard. This is pretty flexy everywhere you press. It has a very like consistent flex. And this is an aluminum plate too. This keycap's being a little weird right now. I don't know if it's the switch though. Maybe the switch has a little too much lube in it. It's okay. Maybe I'll swap out that switch. Oh, no, that's fine now. The stabs feel good, so the stabbies feel good too. Okay, let's give it a little go. This is a lot of flex. This is like comfortable to type on. Holy. Okay, let me... Hold on, chat. Let me do something here. Unplug. I almost feel like... Hold on, chat. Unplug this. Do you guys like how there's no more unplugging sounds? All right, so this comes with PE foam as an optional add-on. Uh, I don't know if it's an add-on, but it's in the box. I think it just comes with it. That sound I lost. There's no noise gates or anything. I can definitely hear the silicone. I would probably say that like definitely some variation in rows for sounds. It's a little bit muted and I think it's just because of the silicone. I would definitely say if you're going to be picking up this board, the Poron or the foam would be the way. Well, I'm opening up things with the F1 keys. However, I'm not like, I'm not hating this sound. I like the space bar. It's very comfortable to type on. I have to disassemble the towel, so maybe we'll do that another day. You know, I actually like the space bar, Jin. I kind of like the louder space bar compared to everything else. Yeah, the alphas are definitely muted with this silicone beat pad over here. <laughs> the backspace sounds like a different board. Don't kill me. Um, so I'll get an answer on that, Grim. I don't know if it, I think you can technically build it without the silicone. The backspace sounds hollow. I don't know if it sounds hollow. I think hollow would mean like you hear some like resonance or something. Yeah, a lot of flex with this board for sure. Very, very flexy. I don't know if I love the silicone. And maybe that's why they included PE foam to kind of bring some of that sound back, which would end up making it sound marbly. You can hear a lot of ping from the backspace through the mic. I guess I don't know if it's ping though
Backspace sounds like you're flicking aluminum. It's definitely muted though. I think the silicone is a little too muted. So I think if you were to go for this board, I would like pour on. I, I think I want to actually take this apart one day and do no foam at all. If that, like no silicone. I don't know if it can be built like that though. I don't know if those little tabbed corners provide some sort of guide for something. It shouldn't matter. At least what I think it shouldn't matter. But we can, I can definitely make that a thing that we do one day. It doesn't sound bad. I wouldn't say it's bad. 